Welcome back to Great Guitarist of the Rock Era. When you think of ACDC, most people picture the screeching voice of Bon Scott or Brian Johnson, or the wild antics of Angus Young. Behind those iconic guitar solos was the backbone of one of the greatest rock bands of all time, Malcolm Young. Before we get started, don't forget to give us a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, and ring the bell for more stories. Malcolm Mitchell Young was born on January 6, 1953, in Glasgow, Scotland. He picked up a guitar at an early age, picking it up from his older brothers. In 1963, Scotland experienced the Big Freeze, one of the worst winters on record, with snow eight feet deep. A TV advertisement shown in Scotland at the time offered assisted travel for families to start a different life in Australia. Fifteen members of the Young family left Scotland in June of 1963. Both Malcolm and younger brother Angus were in a band with their older brother George and his music partner Harry Vanda called Marcus Hook Roll Band. The project released an album in Australia called Tales of Old Granddaddy. Malcolm was in a short-lived band, The Velvet Underground, which is not a well-known Lou Reed band. Malcolm Young played guitar in the 1974 release, Evie, by Stevie Wright. The song is 11 minutes long and has three parts, with Malcolm playing the guitar solo on part one of the song. Malcolm was 20 when, in 1973, he and Angus formed ACDC in Sydney, Australia. Malcolm, with his impeccable timing and raw, powerful riffs, helped shape the early sound of the band. They decided upon the name ACDC after seeing the letters ACDC on the back of their sister's sewing machine. Their debut album, High Voltage in 1975, set the stage for what was to come. Key songs, Baby Please Don't Go, She's Got Balls, and it's a long way to the top if you want to rock and roll. As the band evolved, so did Malcolm's riffs. The next few albums solidified ACDC as a force in the rock world. Dirty Deeds Done Dirt Cheap in 1976 with the songs Dirty Deeds Done Dirt Cheap and Problem Child. Let There Be Rock in 1977 with Let There Be Rock and Whole Lot of Rosie. Power Age in 1978 with Riff Raff and Sin City each brought something new with Malcolm's rhythm work providing the foundation for every track. Highway to Hell in 1979 produced by Mutt Lang catapulted the band to the top of the charts in the U.S. with the title track and Girls Got Rhythm. ACDC faced a devastating loss in 1980 with the death of lead singer Bon Scott, but the band, led by Malcolm's unwavering determination, made a monumental comeback. Enter Back in Black, an album that would become one of the best-selling records of all time. Key tracks include Back in Black, You Shook Me All Night Long, and Hell's Bells. Everything really on there is great. Malcolm's tight rhythms on tracks like Back in Black and Held Bells brought an unmistakable groove, giving the album its timeless energy. Throughout the 80s and 90s, Malcolm continued to define ACDC's hard rock sound. Albums like For Those About to Rock in 1981 with the tracks For Those About to Rock, We Salute You, and Let's Get It Up. Flick of the Switch in 1983 with the songs Flick of the Switch and Nervous Shakedown, Fly on the Wall in 1985 with Shake Your Foundations, and in 1986 they did the soundtrack for the Stephen King movie Who Made Who with the title track, a couple of instrumentals, DT, and Chase the Ace along with some of their previous hit tracks. Blow Up Your Video in 1988 had the track Heat Seeker. The Razor's Edge in 1990 kept the band's momentum going, and Malcolm's guitar work remained the steady core. Key tracks, Thunderstruck, and Money Talks. 
Even with Angus Young taking the spotlight, Malcolm was the architect of the band's sound. Solid, unwavering, and always in command of the groove. Ball Breaker would be released in 1995 with Hard as a Rock and Cover You in Oil. Malcolm Young's final years with ACDC saw the release of Stiff Upper Lip in 2000 with the title track. ACDC was inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame in 2003. His last album with the band would be Black Ice in 2008 with the title track Rock and Roll Train. Though age was catching up, his steady rhythm work never faltered. Malcolm Young owned and played several guitars throughout his career. However, he is most commonly known for his use of his iconic 1963 Gretsch Jet Firebird, nicknamed The Beast. Tragically, in 2014, Malcolm was forced to retire due to dementia, a condition that had slowly been taking its toll. Malcolm Young passed away in 2017, but his legacy lives on. He was never flashy, never the center of attention, but he was always the heart of ACDC. His songwriting, his rhythm playing, and his dedication to the craft made him one of rock's greatest. So the next time you crank up an ACDC song, remember, behind those electrifying solos and thunderous vocals was a man whose rhythm defined rock and roll. Malcolm Young, the unsung hero of ACDC. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and leave a comment with your favorite ACDC song. And keep rocking.